family it seems like money is being made everywhere you are seeing ethereum blowing up bitcoin blowing up some of the other altcoins blowing up tesla had a nice little green day today i'm going to talk about that because yes i was buying i was loading up with more tesla we'll get into how much more what i did and when i bought it here in a little bit and even old neo out there doing its thing are they tied together that's my point i want to kind of talk to people about we got a lot of things going on we got the crypto running we got some of the evs running it was a interesting day to say the least now i bring a lot of this to you all i ask hit that like button do me a favor we're gonna try to get this over two thousand likes all you got to do is hit the thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel family come on what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button hit the bell for notifications and hit all we're gonna dig into a ton of stuff here and for those who joined the patreon thank you if you have not what are you waiting for get over to the stockmo patreon we go live tomorrow at 1 15. it is going to be a live stream class session and i'm trading live as well it's going into the patreon class i have in there it's going to be fun it's going to be a good time and for those who have not joined the technical course that link is available use code bread today to get lifetime access to the course in the course discord now let's get into it let's take a look first things first ethereum oh family i was loving this you know how much money is being made on ethereum bitcoin and some of these other plays right now a ton just to give you an idea i know there's the bitcoin family out there i'm not leaving you out there i don't have any bitcoin i have zero bitcoin i you know and of course you look and say seventy-two thousand compared to four you're you're missing the point it's the percentage gain it's where is the money being made and for those who do not know this institutions from the articles i've been reading the research i've been digging into institutions are now more heavily concentrated in ethereum that means when they're moving all that money in they're putting a little bit more in ethereum it's not a massive amount but it's the fact that they have more in ethereum because i think the risk reward says that ethereum gives us the biggest bang for the buck and they are getting a big bang for the buck now are they winning uh, remember what i tell you it is about what they do not what they say so the articles you hear is all about bitcoin 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 but let's go ahead and take a look how about, how about the last month ethereum 60 percent up you know how i feel about that i'm loving life how about bitcoin 49 whoa 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 bitcoin's the one that has the spot etf this doesn't make sense mo everybody's been saying that bitcoin's been exploding higher they have they're up 50 percent. that's a huge run for one month but old <clears throat> right here been telling you that the risk reward is truly better for ethereum and here it is at 60 percent up in one month compared to 49 percent well what about year to date 71.47 bitcoin 63.38 so you're getting a little bit more about eight percent more on your ethereum year to date that's over the last three months so we got good things right so i like ethereum i like what i'm seeing i think the, the potential's there but then we move into and i did not look at this yet i pulled up doge and thought it would be interesting how did doge do over the last month in three months basically year to date and it's wild because i don't even know the answer to this I have a feeling that it crushed it and that's because the altcoins once you get that pump from retail money they don't want ethereum they don't want bitcoin they want the ones that give them a chance to go 100 200 300 400 percent up in a short period of time and i get it family i'm with you i love it i got dogecoin myself and here we go how about one month 150 percent mo why are we investing in and ethereum and bitcoin i don't know how about year to date 89 percent. so it's more realistic there 89 percent uh bitcoin 63 and ethereum 71. so there you go the old dog on the porch is you know to be funny doge uh we got the big dog bitcoin and i would say the young and up and coming dog that i think is going to take over everything ethereum and yes i am heavy ethereum now moving forward made some big 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 moves out there today and uh i gotta tell you it, it's a little while and i want to make sure i share this with everyone 
Uh, the moves I already talked about over at the Stock Squad and, of course, uh, over at the Stock Mill Patreon. And we'll dig into it. First things first, Tesla. Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. What are you doing to me? We had a real nice day today going. And, of course, it kind of came down there. It was up 180-something. Uh, all the way back down to these lows at the end of the day, 176. And guess when I bought? And I was using their bread recipe. I waited patiently all day to get my stock. And when I saw that dropping and that steep drop right here, bread recipe was telling me you were about to hit a bottom. And that bottom hit in the RSI, which I'm going to show you here. So I added in at that point and 160 something or 176. Or yeah, 176 point something got in and it rode nicely higher. So I felt good that we were able to time the bottom with the bread recipe. If you haven't done it, get the course. I'm telling you, it's good stuff. Uh, so we come in here, and here's where I was watching it. I had a line here. I thought, well, if it breaks this support, it's going to crash all the way down. Uh, as you can see, it got closer, closer, broke it. It really ran down here under 25 on the RSI. You can see it got all the way down there. Like, it was disgusting how low this thing got. At one point, we were looking at 14 on the RSI. And as it got down to 14, I teach the people in the class that once you see that 14, you got a, an oversold situation. That's when you can scoop up some shares expecting, absolutely expecting it to go up and test the 50. If you're blessed, family, if you're blessed, you'll have the 50 get broken. And that will lead you up to some buying to continue. If you're, you're not, you're going to see it hit the 50 and bounce back down. So there's a little bit of gambling involved here. Uh, we got down here, I bought at 160, I believe it was 169, or 176.8 something right in here. And then, of course, up and down, up and down, and then the takeoff at the end. That's because you had so much downward pressure here. Uh, we tested the 50, held, and then boom, took off. That was the last three minutes. As soon as you held here, that was a major sign. And, of course, uh, you broke the 50 RSI right here, and that was the one that broke the 50, uh, broke the EMAs. Everything confirmed, and that's why I had a strong last three minutes. Now, we're going to run up to this resistance. If we break that at 177.94, I would expect this to move higher. And yes, I know everybody keeps saying the same thing. I don't know where it's coming from, but everyone out there telling me, Mo, it's going gonna, it's gonna to crash down. It's going to go all the way down to a certain level. That's all I keep hearing. And of course, I do have, and I'm not, it's not like I'm immune to this. I know technicals, guys. I come out here, I have it set up, I put it in the videos. I already have it here. See, 162 was the major support level. If we get down to 162, I will not be surprised. I'll be buying all the way down. And at that point, I would believe a bounce would come up. Now, what happened today? What happened today? You mentioned some other stocks. Yeah, I did. I mentioned NEO. Why? What happened? I still got my NEO shares. It's been running like a champ, which is amazing. 19.14% up in a week. Unbelievable. What's going on? Well, one, it's one of the worst positions I have ever had in my portfolio. This thing just absolutely crushed, right? But I still got it. And I told you I'd hold it through 2024. Now, we had a run back here. And it ran. And we were making bank again. It was coming up. We were all the way down to 6.7, and it went all the way up, about basically 100-something percent. Big run, and then the collapse down. And, of course, then a mini run and collapse down. So what happens is they keep expecting help from the government in China to support business, stocks, all this stuff. They don't get it, and then it moves down further. We're going to get it again right here. They did not get it. And now, uh, they have, over the last few weeks, they've been saying we're going to really step it up. That seems... Like, it's absolutely going to push it up. And it is starting to put a base under the dropping. And you can see it kind of come down here. We, we're, we're consolidating here. And now you're getting a little bit of a reversal going. Like I said, up 20% in the last week. You got the 5 just crossed the 13. You got the price moving up close to the 50. You got the RSI just crossed the 50. Listen, when it comes to the technicals using my bread strategy... This is getting interesting. I have said before that if you see a reversal and we can get above that 50 and confirm and it holds strong, look out, there might be legs for this. Now, it's not just NEO. That's the thing. Everybody's like, oh, NEO. That's not NEO. If you're in BABA, if you're in any of these, they're all going to be up. I guarantee it. Let's see. Uh, what do we got here? Up 1.79 today. What about Xpeng? I guaranteed up nicely. 
So we go five, we go 5% today. What about Lee? I didn't even check Lee today. Uh, five, let's see, today, 0.36, not up a lot. Uh, and BY, how about Buffett's company? Look at this, 5.99% up today, huge move. So you're seeing a lot of the Chinese, how about JD.com? There you go, 5.33. So it's not that Neo's up, and look at that last week, 22%, are you kidding me? So it's that the Chinese stocks in general are moving higher because they've had two years of absolute pain. Where you've seen the US market just running up for a year and a half now, you've seen the Chinese market just dropping for two years. Now eventually you're gonna hit a top in the US market and you're gonna hit a bottom in the Chinese market and you got quantitative easing in China and you got quantitative tightening in the US. You got the US trying to slow it down, which they're gonna succeed, and you got China trying to boost it, which they're gonna succeed. Understand this family, there is opportunity around the world. Right now, you got Japanese stocks that are in favor and they're running higher and higher and higher. We got China stocks which are getting hit, 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 but now the government's gonna come out and just throw tons of cash at this. So there's two ways to kind of look at this and say, can we find an entry point that makes sense for any of the Chinese plays? It doesn't matter which one you're in. And the answer is yes, I think there is. Also, in the US, is there an exit point that we should be looking at for certain stocks, for ones that have ran up hundreds of percent in a year or two? I think the answer is yes there as well. So I'm watching all of this. Now, when it comes to Tesla, Tesla's, and people don't get this, Tesla is tied to the Chinese economy family. They got their factories over there. They got this, they get a, a huge amount of their sales out of China. I've already discussed this a million times. Be like, oh, I'd never invest over there. You do when you buy Tesla stock. Tesla has their factory stuff there. They get, I don't even know what the percentage is. It was up to 40% at one time where their revenue came out of China. It was huge. So when China slows down, it hurts Tesla. When the US puts that Fed rate higher and, and car loans are more expensive, it kills Tesla. Now, let's think about this moving forward. You got the Fed dropping rates for Tesla. What do you mean for Tesla? Well, if they drop the rates, the Fed rate goes down. What happens to car loans? They go cheaper. They get cheaper. And the cheaper the car loans, the more people can afford to buy a Tesla. That is good. Elon already said, if the Fed keeps raising rates, he knows what's up. He doesn't want the Fed raising rates because it hurts his company. It makes it harder. But as the Fed rates drop, it makes it easier for him. Now that's in the US. That's coming here before the end of 2024. The Fed even went in, in, in front of the Congressional Review this week or last week and said that, that rate cuts are on the table for this year. And then you got China who came out, what was it, a quarter trillion dollars are gonna throw at the markets and stuff. This is huge money. They are supporting the markets over there. They're doing what they need to do. So the end of the pain is near. And so you got everything that should be ramping up in China. If their markets start to go higher, everybody starts buying again. That's good for Tesla. We got the US with quantitative easing about to start, maybe June, and that's good for Tesla. So we got a lot of things that are going on that will be good for Tesla as we move forward. Is it instantly hitting its price in today? No, family, no. So for those out there saying, you bought today, Mo. You loaded up today. I've been loaded up last week and I loaded up this week, yes. I am a long-term Tesla holder. I believe this is going to do very well. I am taking my DCA to the next level now, as people can tell, and I believe it's gonna do extremely well as we get into 2025 and 2026. Let me know down below, do you think I'm wrong? Where do you think this thing goes? I said it before, people will come out here, they'll complain when Tesla is down at 170, 180 a share. They won't buy, they'll sell all their shares, they walk away. But to me, it's kind of funny. Because if Tesla goes from 170 up to 300, can I buy? Can I come in and buy some now at 300? Why didn't you buy at 170 with us? Why didn't you buy it if it goes to 150 and it goes to 100? Why don't you buy then? Because it's dropping, no one, it's like a party and not, there's not a lot of people there. I don't wanna go then, I wanna go when everybody's there. It's more fun and more exciting. Yeah, but that's not when you make the real money. When there is just pain and misery with a company, but it's still the best company, that's when you snag it. That's when you get it, you grab it. It's just like Ethereum. I was telling people at 900 a piece, this is it. This is the time, it will get to highs again. 
I had people nasty comments on my channel. No, it won't. Yeah, it's down. Why would I buy now? And now it's at 4,000 and everybody's buying it. It makes no sense to me. So there's people like me who, and those who follow me who see that at the low price and buy, even though it's stomach churning. And then when we get to 4,000, they're like, holy cow. And you, in your head, you're like, I want to buy more. But you did the right thing and bought when it was low. And at these higher times is when you can literally start taking a profit if you want. You can start taking your money off the table, take out your initial investment, move it into treasuries, whatever you want. And that's a whole different ballgame. So my Tesla stock price prediction is that we will see it move back up to that $200, $300 range over the next year or two. There's no doubt in my mind that there are opportunities for quantitative easing in the U.S. and, of course, the quantitative easing in China, which is ongoing right now. They will help Tesla move up that way. Now, if something bad happens out there we did not see, well, that's something we can't, we can't predict. But overall, I like it. And same thing with the crypto and the Ethereum. My Ethereum price prediction, I said 4,000, it hit it. I said 3,000, it hit it. I said 2,000, it hit it. Now everybody's asking, how high can it go, Mo? Look, we haven't even got the spot ETF okay yet, but if it hits and we get that spot ETF, family, we know we can finally hit that $5,000 mark. And what about hitting 10,000? I told you in the next five years, I expected, I said this at 900 a share, uh, share, 900 a piece, that we would hit 10,000 my bearish case in five years in five years and everybody's like you're crazy why would you say it now at four thousand people are like ten thousand that's easily doable of course it is because if you understand it there's money to be made and of course i bring up doge because doge continues to amaze people and there is a way to make money on these altcoins as well and so it's a lot of fun what altcoin are you into what's the best crypto to buy now and do you believe in the tesla stock price prediction where do you see it going are you buying are you selling let's have a talk family hit the like button down below if you like this video you want to see more videos like this just hit the thumbs up for me let's get it to 2000 and subscribe to this channel because i'm going to be helping folks the best i can get the financial freedom that's what it's about all right now if you have not done this this is worth it by itself 8.1 percent apy guaranteed for new users for three months you get 5.1 percent plus an extra three percent and put 100 bucks in you get five free stocks put a grand in you get 15 you get this 10 plus this five and on top of that you guys see how i use the charting software and everything they give it to you for free in here and i'm starting a challenge with moo moo i'm gonna go into moo moo either this week or next week and i'm gonna start the challenge where we put a little bit in a day I'm talking maybe it's five bucks, maybe it's 10 bucks, maybe it's something. I don't know. We're going to come up with something, but it's not going to be a lot. And then we're going to slowly set it on automatic, just money going in and doing something with that money where we can turn it a little into a ton over the long term. And we're going to set it, forget it. We're going to review it on here and we're going to have that challenge. All right, we're going to have the Moo Moo Challenge where we try to make money. I will be using the technicals. I will be doing a lot of different things. Uh, using their software but the newest thing we're going to be doing is that investing challenge if you'd like to be a part of it click the moo moo link down below put 100 bucks in let's get started together i'll be rolling that out soon all right family now that's all i got for you today come on over and join the patreon i'll have my live stream tomorrow that's going to be exciting and we got a lot of things to talk about i appreciate you stopping by let's get out there and make some money